When humans are in crisis, the brain releases the hormone cortisol. Your heart races, your muscles tense. I wonder if your body is reacting to a gem equivalent of cortisol. Stephen, do you remember anything bad in your childhood that particularly stuck with you? I guess I kind of freaked out when they canceled my favorite ice cream. And then I got attacked by a giant bug monster. And I got trapped in a bubble and almost drowned. I lost control of my body and turned into a blob of cats. I almost turned so old I died. Amethyst almost died. Pearl did die. Garnet got destabilized right in front of me. I woke up with a black eye imprisoned on a spaceship. Steven, this is serious. But that was just the early stuff. I think all these experiences have been subjecting your body to a harmful amount of stress, and that's affecting your ability to respond to new forms of stress in a healthy way. You've been dealing with genuine threats from such a young age, your body is now responding to minor threats as if your life were in danger. But why am I only swelling up now? Stress is less harmful when we have people we trust to help us through it. Maybe if, if you're losing your supportive relationships, or if you had a recent experience that was particularly off- What's going on? Mom, what's happening? I don't know. I just asked if he had any stressful experiences lately. Steven, you don't think- It's not you, Connie. It's everything that happened before. What is he talking about? You haven't told your mom? Told me what? It's not your fault. I, I think I just need you to leave. This is a medical emergency. I am not leaving. Mom, us being here is making it worse. Ah! Oh, no. Please, just, just go. Steven. I can't be around you right now. Steven. Dad. I'm here. Come on, Mom. Let's give them space. Right. How'd you know I was here? Connie called me about an hour ago. Connie... Thank you. Yeah. I'll be here when you're ready. Uh, Steven, I'm sorry. If I'd have known, I... It's fine, Dad. You were busy, and, and I didn't know what was going on. Come on, Steven. Talk to me. I... Well... I, um... I proposed to Connie. You what? She said no. Oh, Steven. My body, it's reacting like it's the end of the world. I think I've seen the world almost end so many times now that everything that goes wrong feels that, that extreme. I should be feeling so good these days. The Earth is safe, it's era three, but I'm, I'm swelling up over these third era problems. What do I do? How do I move on from all the stuff I've been through? How do I live life if it always feels like I'm about to die? It's gonna be all right, Stewball. I'm here for you. I just... I wanna go home. I guess I thought I could just follow Connie to college. Like, if we got married, I'd know what to do with myself. But I'm the one that's gotta figure that stuff out. Cut yourself some slack. It's okay to be worried and make some mistakes when you're figuring out what to do with your life. That's not unusual. Well, the magic swelling is a little unusual, but that's okay too. If you want to be a giant boy, we can use the car wash as a shower. <laughs> Dad, your tour! I've ruined your- Don't worry about me. Just get some rest, kiddo. You don't have to solve all your problems in one night. Yeah. Thanks, Dad.